Hi guys. I ain't gonna make it through this. I was up praying. But the other night I was doing my normal reading and I was reading Ezekiel. Ezekiel 24. Started at verse 13. He's telling Ezekiel, Psst, get out. <laughs> Stupid cat. <laughs> See, she breaks the mood. God helps break the mood up a little bit. Ezekiel 24, 13. God is telling Ezekiel, on account of your uncleanliness and lewdness, Jerusalem, he's talking about Jerusalem, because I would have cleansed you and you were not cleansed from your uncleanliness. You shall not be cleansed anymore. I have satisfied my fury upon you. I am the Lord. I have spoken. It shall come to pass. I will do it. I will not go back. I will not spare. I will not relent. According to your ways and your deeds, you will be judged, declares the Lord God. Paul says he's not a respecter of person. That's a flat out lie. Because what's next? Ezekiel 24, 15. Wow. And the word of the Lord came to me, Ezekiel, son of man. Behold, I am about to take the delight of your eyes away from you at a stroke. You will not, yet you shall not mourn or weep, nor shall your tears go down. Sigh, but not loud. Make no mourning for the dead. Bind on your turban and put your shoes on and your feet on your feet. Do not cover your lips. Do not eat the bread of men. So I, Ezekiel, spoke to the people in the morning, and at night, at evening, my wife died. And on the next morning, I did as I was commanded. I went and spoke to the people. Wow! Wow! The things he gets me, you can read into this whatever you want. But God had the courtesy, he had the relationship, he had the respect for Ezekiel. Behold, I am about to take the delight of your eyes away from you at a stroke. I'm going to take it. I look at that, the assurance, my wife is at the presence of the Lord. You can't get any better than that God, the creator of the universe, the father heart of God. Say, I'm going to take the delight of your eyes. And you will sigh not, make no mourning for the dead. She's not dead, she's with God. God had the courtesy because he honored Ezekiel for what he's doing. But I don't know the reason, I don't know nothing all this says. You keep on going. And he spoke to the people that morning. And that evening, my wife died. The next morning, I did as I was commanded. That's kind of a guy thing. I remember watching an old movie, World War II movie, and the guy got a Western Union telegram saying his son was killed. And the wife was devastated. She goes, where are you going? He says, I'm going to work. The trains are still running. Life is still going on. And people still need me. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I don't know what I would do. But I wanted to share this. I do not ever recall Ezekiel. I don't ever remember recall reading this. And I know I've gone through the Bible at least six times in my life. I, I, I know that. I know. Because, let's see, when you're reading the Bible, you read, you read, 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 read. You don't absorb it and live it. Every time. There's nights I don't get past one chapter. And there's other nights I get three or four chapters. And I have to make all my notes because I can't recall. Sometimes I can't recall events, but it helps me to go back and say, oh, in chapter 20 something an event started, but all these other events happened, and all of a sudden in chapter 25, the conclusion of what happened in whatever verse I just said. I am about to take the delight of your eyes away from you. Wow. The Father heart of God, people. He wants his children to obey him and respect him. 
so he can respect them and guide them and bless them. The Father Heart of God is looking for people to be obedient. When my kids are obedient, when I see them prosper and grow and do things, my heart is excited as God's excited. Jesus freed us. I spoke to the people in the morning, and at evening my wife died. I don't know how long we've been married, I don't know how old we was. I went to pray tonight because I posted the other video that could be really hard for people. You can't water down the truth. There are people dying every day not knowing God. There are people dying every day who think they know God. They're going to be cut off. No, you got to do it his way. He established it. He set it up. Not us. I am about to take her. I'm about to take her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is confidence. Knowing that he's going to see his wife again. That he's in the hands, she's in the hands of the creator of the universe. The creator of the universe. You wonder why people get their heads chopped off and won't stand up for God. Because they know Him. They don't believe in all their doctrine. They don't stand on their beliefs. It's their whole paradigm. No, no. They know Him. They know Him. And He knows them. Amen. Praise you, Father.